Welcome back. I'm Diana and we are creating an abstract painting with the natural elements. So far what we've done is found our canvas, did the gesso, put our um, treasures on, and then we used some coarse pomace, crackle, and the last time we did some alcohol drops, which is coming along nicely. But today we're going to paint. And before I get started on painting, um, I just want to show you some cheap ways of um, putting your paint on. So I use yogurt, sour cream container, container um, lids. Reason for that is, um, for instance, yesterday I was in here painting and I'm using acrylic paint and the acrylic paint, um, I don't know if you know, but it dries quite fast. So when you're done for the day and you want to leave, you're going to leave your your paint on here and it'll go dry and the next day you're just wasting. So I collect these and you can see right here, this is yesterday, how, how it lasts. So well, let's get this dirty. Okay, so we aren't using these colors today. I just wanted to share that with you. But if you're gonna be painting big, I often will have a board. You can use paper plate, you can use plate at home, and then you put the seal, press and seal on it. It's very, very easy. So you just press, press and seal there. So put your paint on here. You can throw it away when it's all dry. Or another thing you can do when you want to keep that is take the lid off, put that upside down on it, and the next day it'll be still good. So a couple little tricks. So I'm using this today. Ah, and why I like these is because when it does dry out, you can peel it right off. You can see some, some pieces still here. But, all right, let's get to it. Get to it. So today what colors I'm using is um, yellow and Payne's gray and magenta, those three colors. So let's get some down. And as you can see, I'm using all different brands. It's whatever you like in those colors. Some companies have different, um, just a little bit different from each other. So, put a bunch of blobs. This one here, the company went out of business. So when this is done, it's done. Ooh, and that is really done. Okay, um, on this stage, I use um, a bigger brush because what, what you're trying to do here, you don't have to be per perfect. You just want pure colors, um, just covering the whole, whole area, do the sides too, and then we go back and do a lot of glazing. But, so this time, let's think. Let's think, I want some yellow yellow and that color together looks awesome blue and yellow you just quickly apply and then i would bring this right down onto the side this is this is the stage i like <laughs> Have your little water beside you or in front of you and because you don't clean this brush yellow and you put it in in with your blue Payne's gray what color are you gonna have anyone know <laughs> 
So let's put some, what color is red and yellow. So these are things to know when you're, um, when we're going back over it because it'll change when you glaze, it'll change the colors. I think I will bring this down here. So have some fun just being crazy. You know, sometimes it's a great idea to maybe even just have three brushes for the different um, colors so you don't have that problem changing. Maybe I'll do that. Reaching. Here's a good one. <laughs> Here, let's get some of this blue. I'm taking this down. That's pretty dark, isn't it? So in here, in this lesson, we're just covering, we're just covering it all into different shapes. And all through here is all the different colors. And then when you've gone over uh, with different glazes, it's changed. If all of a sudden we have purple, we have green, we have orange, and that happens with the glazing. So right now you're just focused on just covering it. So I'm gonna leave you with homework to cover yours with all your different colors. Use three, use a yellow, a red, and a blue. Any of what you wanna use, but I use Payne's Gray, Magenta, because they make a really nice color, and the yellow. So that's it for today. See you next time.